I am back. I figured out this new hack how to make a video and I'm sorry if I'm going to be looking behind the camera because I don't have a viewfinder. I'm filming this on my phone and I'm really sorry guys. I totally want to get back to making proper proper videos with like the tripod and stuff but like I have to borrow it out from the library and the library's always closed when I want to borrow it out. Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm so excited to be back for this video. I'm making another vlog talky video. Um, I hope you guys like these kind of videos. But anyways, um, today I'm going to be talking about like, <laughs> like loving yourself irregardless of things. I'm just sharing with you my life lessons. That's what I'm doing with this whole channel. So, you know, and I was just like realized it lately. Well, it's been a lifelong journey. Oh my god, my arm really hurts holding this thing up. It's it's my phone as well. I don't understand. Hold on. That should be a bit better. But I basically was watching the film Stick It and sorry guys. If you guys know that film, Stick It, I've been lately into the whole gymnastics of the whole Olympics and everything. And um it's it's basically that gymnastics film that's so good. It's like 2006, which is crazy since ten years ago. But I was watching it and the main character I can't remember her name <laughs> and it was like my favorite film of all time and I don't remember her name was um basically she goes to probation officer and basically she was the elite gymnast she walks out of the world because she finds out that her mum's been cheating on her not cheating on her cheating on her dad with um her coach and she's just like f this and she just leaves and um so later on in the film probation officer was talking to her and she said like you can't help who your parents are like sometimes we get screwed up parents and we have to deal with it and it just made me look at her in a different light like you know she's been through a lot of stuff but it's not her fault and you know she's allowed to her I mean it's easy to say you know what why would you walk out of worlds like what is wrong with you but life happens life throws you with snowballs you can't you know Sorry, my arm really hurts holding this thing up, so I am gonna lean on my leg. Anyway, sorry. You know, life throws you snowballs, and I know it's easier to say, oh, like, I wish I, I didn't break apart when that happened, but you are human. That's how life is. Things get you down. And it sucks, but it matters how you pick yourself up. And basically from the film, I was just learning about gymnasts in general and I came across um Kayla McConey McMaroney I'm really sorry if I butchered her name but basically she was in London 2012 on the gymnastics team won gold and she's like my age and I was just like oh it's weird she's not in the Olympics this year and I saw her interview why she quit gymnastics and it's crazy to watch and I was just like oh I wish I was a gymnast I wish I was that cool I wish I was that successful um, they're so tough and stuff and she even said she suffered with depression you know during I think competing and after London 2012 and you'd think well, what really like you've won you're on the world stage you've won how can you feel depressed but she even said she struggled with it and it made me realize like I don't know I feel like within myself I, I try and convince myself depression doesn't make you weak but in all honesty, I think sometimes I am one of my biggest critics and I think, oh, I can't do something because I struggle with it, like with depression in general. And I'm just realizing you can still be tough and hardcore and work so hard, but still have mental health issues. And you have to love yourself with that. And you have to love yourself even when you don't do yours in general. Like when I was younger, I used to think, you know, oh, if I lose, and I think even now in the media it's generated, if I lose X amount of pounds, and if I get a good grade on the test, like, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to be successful. That's, these two core things are things that are going to make me happy. And I guess for this whole year, you know, not being able to fulfill my academic goals, as much as I, I the, 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 the. <laughs> as much as I would like to due to mental health issues and not gaining weight because of mental health issues I just kind of realized you have to learn to love yourself regardless you can't only conditionally love yourself when you reach 
these goals or you know am I making any sense I feel like I'm rambling I'm really sorry but that's the main message of this video that I wanted to share with you guys the fact that as I grew older with life I realized that even if you're you know where you want to be or where you thought you would be and you think that's the code of happiness I guess it's not you have to you can't live your life like unless I'm a size eight I'm gonna be happy and feel, feel fulfilled feel fulfilled with life because you're gonna miss out on so much of what life has to offer you can you imagine that like you're on a journey what nine months to get down to a size eight whatever size you are and you're like at that point I'm gonna be happy and you just didn't love yourself along the way and accept yourself and support yourself as you are love yourself as you are that's what I'm trying to say with this message because I wish I realized that when I was younger and I feel like I'm now at the point of realizing that and I just wanted to share that with you guys so I hope you guys have a lovely day and enjoy this vlog I'm sorry it's a bit impromptu and it's probably shaking all over the place but my hand really hurts holding this phone up so I will see you guys very soon bye